a business-friendly, scientifically driven, and open source approach to corporate greenhouse gas target setting. Brought to you by Autodesk. A two degree Celsius rise in global average temperature, according to scientific consensus, represents a threshold of dangerous and possibly irreversible climate change. To avoid irreparable water stress, widespread extinction, severe impacts upon worldwide food production, and serious coastal flooding, we must aim to avoid crossing this threshold. The threat to our health, the economy, and our quality of life has become so clear that there is now unprecedented agreement between scientists and policymakers that global greenhouse gas emissions must be reduced by at least 80% from current levels by the year 2050. As a result, the major economies of the world have begun crafting policies to address this magnitude of reductions. Leaders in the corporate community are stepping up to address the challenge, with most industry sector leaders adopting greenhouse gas targets of some kind. Yet due to widely varying approaches, targets that are short-sighted, incremental, or in some cases, normalized in such a way that they actually lead to increased emissions, the reductions necessary to achieve climate stabilization will arrive 39 years too late. To address this, we've developed an approach to greenhouse gas target setting that is driven by climate science, accommodates the realities of business change and growth, and is compatible with generally accepted corporate finance principles. It's a novel, business-friendly way for companies to reduce their emissions in line with scientific and policy climate stabilization targets, but doing so proportional to their relative contribution to global GDP. This approach works because it's compatible with generally accepted corporate finance principles and fair to companies of all sizes, GHG footprints, and growth prospects. This approach acknowledges that corporate commitments should be proportional to that company's value to the economy, while holding a company's performance accountable with replicable and verifiable information. This approach is also non-prescriptive, committing to a target but leaving specific decisions to business units, flexible in adapting to short-term deviations from the target trajectory, and predictable, incorporating forecasting to allow for better business planning. The approach boils down to four crucial steps. One, calculate. Two, commit. Three, annualize. And four, adjust. Let's walk through the methodology using Autodesk's numbers. Step one, begin by calculating your company's base year carbon footprint. Next, define your company's contribution to the gross domestic product, the best universally available measure of a company's value to its economy. Do this using gross profit, your revenue minus cost of goods sold, and forecast growth using public financial analyst research. Calculate your company's carbon intensity ratio by dividing your base year carbon footprint by your contribution to the GDP. Lastly, use the scientific community's recommended reduction target for climate stabilization for 2050 to derive your company's carbon intensity reduction rate. This is the rate at which your carbon intensity ratio must decrease annually in order to set your company on track for climate stabilization. Step two commit publicly to this approach. Choose a target year that considers the long-term nature of climate change, policy milestones in 2012, 2020, and 2050, and the periodicity of your company's strategic planning process. Step three, annualize the reductions over your timeframe through 2050. In the interest of transparency and accountability, commit to publishing the annual target derived from this methodology as well as your performance against that target at the close of each fiscal year. Step four, update your projection model with the latest available information. First, calculate your new carbon footprint and evaluate if you've overshot or undershot your annualized target. Diffuse any error over a five-year sliding window. This grants your company flexibility in meeting short-term targets, but prevents procrastination beyond five years. Secondly, update your growth rate projections for gross profit to estimate your annual absolute target for next year. If all companies were to adopt this macroeconomically grounded approach, 
private sector emissions would be on track to help stabilize the climate by 2050. In fact, if only today's leading tech companies were to champion this methodology, we could unilaterally address 10% of the global climate challenge. So we at Autodesk invite you to adopt, adapt, and improve upon this open source solution. One that is business friendly, science friendly, and climate friendly, and take an active and pioneering role in averting a global climate crisis. If you'd simply like to learn more about Autodesk's innovations in sustainability, visit autodesk.com slash green.